Hi, I'm not James Hoffman, um, but welcome to the Melbourne Coffee Test Garage, where we brew the finest um, in experimental coffees in this lovely sanitary setting. Um, I don't know a lot about coffee, but I do know like, that I do like cold brew. Um, cold brew uh, is a bit rounder, a bit less intense, a less sour, a less bitter than an espresso. Um, but it does take a long time to make. I've made some cold brew overnight here. As you can see, we've done a few takes, so it has been consumed. Um, but I'm gonna show you today a faster way of making cold brew using things you find around your house, like an ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, we're gonna make a mix here of 15, uh, sorry, 15 to one mix, so 33 grams of beans to 500 mils of water. The water is in this plastic thin-walled bottle. Uh, I put that in the ultrasound machine and that will do the brewing action. Um, rather than putting it directly in the basin, uh, which may not be totally clean, this at least contains it to a single relatively hygienic spot. So first thing we need to do is grind our beans. For that, I'll be using the Comandante uh, set uh, to a pretty coarse grind for a cold brew. Mm. Wonderful. I have plenty of machines in here that could do this for me, but that would require work to set up, so I will just do it by hand. All right, I think we're good. Let's get the coffee into, the ground coffee, into the water. For that, I'm using a funnel that is relatively clean. Get every last bit in there. All right, we're good. Get our lid on. We should have turned the machine on, is it on? No. Really sad too. So I'm setting it here to one minute. Um, one minute seems good. Haven't done a lot of testing. I've tried three minutes. One minute seems better. Let's go. So the ultrasonic waves are um, imparting a fair amount of force into uh, the coffee and breaking it up. Um, this idea came from a paper I saw where an ultrasonic transducer was attached directly to a porter filter. The sound in the background is probably horrible actually. Um, and in that they did a three minute brew um, using pressurized water through the porter filter with uh, the ultrasonic transducer. When I first did a three minute brew it had way too many fines. Uh, most of the steps here are involving getting rid of those fines. I'll first do a coarse filter with this um, French press and then a fine filter with a V60 paper filter. How are we going on time? Pretty good, all right. So step one, have a look. We've got a pretty brown uh, coffee here. I guess coffee usually is brown, so that wasn't very descriptive. Um, but there's uh, the coarse uh, grounds are still in there with a lot of ultra-fine materials. So we're gonna use this French press to filter out some of the coarse material. Um, otherwise, it just clogs the V60 filter way too quickly. All right, so let's French press. And you could drink it straight after the French press. There's nothing wrong with that. I can show you what that looks like. It is pretty murky, but totally drinkable. It tastes like it's grittier than it is, like the grit is really, really fine, but you definitely get some mouthfeel there, and that's totally adequate and fine to drink. But let's see if we can clear it up a little bit more um, with a filter. I might need a larger bottle to filter into. Let's go get a larger bottle. All right, so I've got a bottle here. This would be a lot easier if I had a proper V60 filtering setup. As it is, I have a canning filter and uh, some V60 filters here. Uh, but that'll do for now. 
I may invest in getting a V60 filled up. But honestly, it's perfectly fine to drink like that. Um, here we go, let's see if we can filter some of these fines out. And we have a cat coming to visit us right now. But he has not signed a release, so we won't put him on camera. This does take a little while to filter, but still a lot faster than the alternative method. While the colour is pretty similar between the coarse filter and the fine filter, um, the mouthfeel on this is a little bit less <laughs> coarse. And cat butt, again, adding to the theme of a highly sanitary work environment. All right, rather than letting this filter all the way through, let's set that aside for now. Pop this in here. And let's decant to our tasting vessel. So you can see the color difference between the traditional cold brew and the accelerated cold brew process. Let's do a bit of a side-by-side -side taste test. Fruity, fruit forward, apricot, some lingering acidity and sourness um, after with the finish. Mouthfeel is very light, a little bit, a little bit syrupy, but you know. Flaky. All right, let's go for this one. The grittiness from that um, first version is all gone. Um, I'm left with a much more rounded, much more balanced flavor. Um, you still get the fruit, but it's more of a dried fruit than sort of the fresh fruit in the uh, traditional cold brew. It's a really nice cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. <laughs> I've consumed way too much coffee in the making of this video. Um, but it's good coffee. Um, I don't know if I want to stick to this method, but it's a lot of fun. Thanks for sticking around. See ya.